It was so bad. How can we forget the note that the chief secretary of the Treasury left? There is no money left. What was that guy's name again? Oh, Liam Byrne, your nomination for West Midlands mayor this coming election. Mr. Austerity himself. Councillor Simon Morrell. Thank you, Deputy Lord Mayor. Councillor Simon Morrell for Frankly Great Park Ward in South Birmingham. Two years ago, I said at the budget that everyone from the doctor to the cleaner to the single mother knows how to manage a tight budget. Yet this Labour Council, the largest in Europe, fails every time. In 2019, this council was issued with free, a third Section 24 notice for chronic financial mismanagement. The only council in history to have more than two. And rather than take any responsibility, this council has continued to blame austerity like a get out of jail free card. Well, they said the Commonwealth Games would not affect the council's budget. It rose by 91 million. Don't look over there, blame it on austerity. They said that moving the Paribas bus depot would cost two million. It rose to 16 million. Don't look over there, blame it on austerity. It cost £450,000 to repair a boiler at Hollymore when it could be done for £60,000. Don't look over there, blame it on austerity. They sold the NEC for £307 million when it was actually worth £800 million. Don't look over there, Deputy Lord Mayor, blame it on austerity. They can't fill our potholes despite the fact the government gives them a million pounds every week to do so. Don't look over there, blame it on austerity. They can't empty the bins with millions of pounds wasted with not one, but two bin strikes. Don't look over there, blame it on austerity. And they can't even get your children to school safely with, with, with endless child safety fiascos in this city. Don't look over there, blame it on austerity. There is currently a £3.6 million restructuring happening at this council, with £2 million being spent on non-disclosure agreements and gagging orders on officers who have left. £425,000 of that was spent on one officer who we can't even name for GDPR. The government has provided billions on business support loans, which they're failing to get out in time. We've given them COVID-19 grant funding, which has been squandered, and millions of pounds to improve transport, which they've decided to spend on a bus lane down the Bristol Road. Don't look over there. Blame it on austerity. Frankly, Deputy Lord Mayor, to lobby our government for any more money for this council would itself be an act of financial irresponsibility because this Labour Council overspends its own budget every single year and it is now on its ninth chief executive in nine years with the former chief executive not just leaving Birmingham but jumping on a one-way flight to the other side of the planet. Don't look over there Deputy Lord Mayor, blame it on austerity. It is logically flawed, rationally redundant and intellectually lazy to blame the financial failings of this Labour Council on austerity. But since you brought it up, let's talk about austerity, because under the last Labour government, poverty doubled. The country was £4.8 trillion in debt with a £90 billion budget deficit. That's the cost of £77,000 for every man, woman and child in this country. In fact, if you were to sell every single house and flat in the country, you would still have been a trillion pounds in debt. So, Deputy Lord Mayor, the reason this council is so bad is because it is being run by people who thought that was totally acceptable and for 10 years have failed to acknowledge the damage they did to this country. And every time you blame austerity, you acknowledge that you wanted to enslave the unborn with crippling debt, drown the poorest with rising inflation and raise taxes on future generations. It was so bad. How can we forget the note that the chief secretary of the Treasury left there is no money left. What was that guy's name again? Oh, Liam Byrne, your nomination for West Midlands Mayor this coming election. Mr. Austerity himself. Deputy Lord Mayor, I will conclude by saying in 2008, the Labour Party bowed out the banks. In 2020, the Conservatives have bowed out the workers. It's precisely because we paid off your budget deficit that we are able to furlough the workers. It's precisely because we got Brexit done that we're now leading the world in vaccine rollout. And while the Labour Party will continue to hide behind austerity, we will never let you hide your appalling record in government. Thank you.